An arson investigation is underway in Sherman Oaks tonight after fire erupts in a dumpster near a popular restaurant. Residents and business owners in the area say it is a growing problem, putting lives and property at risk. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live in Sherman Oaks with more Sandra. Sheriff Casa Vega is an institution in this area. We talked to the owner tonight who says it is not just arson fires. This area is becoming increasingly dangerous with stabbings and other assaults. Security video shows the arson is poor and accelerant in a dumpster and lighted on fire. Flames go flashing up the side of a Sherman Oaks apartment building. I was horrified. The Saturday night fire was in the parking lot of Casa Vega, a popular restaurant. I mean, the, the flames were about 10 feet high, and it's right next to our grease trap. And if the fire had hit our grease trap, it would have been a, like a bomb explosion. The arsonists have not been caught. Local business owners blame transients. We have a constant um, assault by the transients that come in the restaurant. Terrorizing the Ventura Boulevard neighborhood. And we had a busser that was stabbed coming to work um, right in the driveway of Casa Vega by a transient. The owner of Valley Inn, the oldest restaurant in the valley, tells us homeless people are scaring their customers and employees. They're pleading with city officials to help, but they're also doing what they can to protect themselves. Robert Tomlinson is a volunteer with the Neighborhood Watch Group. That's him in the bright yellow vest. He was on patrol Saturday night and spotted the arson fire. And I just happened to cross the smoke column and uh, and then I you know, made the determination that I needed to do something, so I called 911. And the dumpster fire really didn't cause much damage, but the owner of Casa Vega says incidents like this ultimately could put her 70-year-old restaurant out of business. Her insurance company recently canceled her policy. The crime, the homeless, the lack of consequences, it's been making businesses uninsurable because if the government and authorities aren't going to prosecute crime, insurance is going to stop paying for it. You probably noticed in that security video at least three people involved in the fire. LAPD tells us nobody has been arrested. We're live tonight in Sherman Oaks. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Sharon Micah, back to you.